Over the past 12 years, this program has been full of bullish analysts. All of them are saying, oh, you buy the dip, the market's going to go straight back up again. Now, those analysts have changed their tune, largely. So we've been looking, can we find a bull? Can we find someone who thinks this market is going up? Some bullish person, where are they? We've got one. He's sitting right next to me. His name is Adam Johnson, and he's with us this morning. Great to be with you, Stu. And thank you. Thank you for giving a bull, a rare bull, actually right. a voice I appreciate. In this day and age, there's not many of them around, actually. It's amazing. I mean, so for... what, what, why are you bullish? Well, in a nutshell, earnings are the highest they've ever been. Mm -hmm. Unemployment is the lowest it's ever been. And, Stuart, sentiment is completely washed out. And I can give you a number of different examples. I think that's a powerful combination when you have earnings, employment, mm -hmm and negative sentiment, that's a powerful combination. And interesting, as you pointed out earlier, that uh, markets are up today. Um, stocks are up today, sure. bond yields are down today in spite sure. of the highest inflation in 50 years. I think that the worst is behind us. So you think we've seen peak inflation? I do. Um, I think okay. that's the message of the bond market, Stuart. And, and you think that the Federal Reserve will go a little easy on clamping down on inflation? I, I, I appreciate the skepticism <laughs> and skepticism, and um, I hear it every day from uh, uh, partners at work and investors and friends. Um, but let me put it to you this way, Stuart, and this is going to sound a little quirky maybe to some of our um, listeners, but the two-year Treasury note went from 25 basis points, which is practically zero, mm -hmm. up to 2.5%. Yep. That's 225 basis points, which curiously is the equivalent of nine 25-point rate hikes from the Fed. And guess what? Mr. Powell told us we will get six this year and three next year. In other words, I think the bond market fully discounted the whole thing. And if there's any hiccup, any change in the Fed's policy, the path of least resistance is for yields to go back down. And that's actually very positive for stocks. Well, this is fascinating. Yeah. You're really against the grain. I'm completely against the you grain. Really are. Yeah. I, I get hate mail on Twitter, just like Liz Peek. Did you really? Uh, although not over, no, not over uh, Elon Musk. No, I do, because people think that I'm drinking my own Kool-Aid. They say, how can you possibly be bullish? And I said, the time to be bullish is when everyone is bearish. Consumer, and, and, yeah. Yeah, consumer sentiment, Stuart, is at a 40-year low. Isn't it amazing that we feel worse now than we did in the depths of COVID? I just find that shocking. Again, with employment the best it's ever been, uh, earnings the best they've ever been, but somehow all we can, all we can harp on is all this negativity. I think okay. it's a shame. Stocks are the place to be right now. I think so. I've right. been buying, yeah. If you're not careful, you're going to be back on this. Set. Okay. You, you, you will be invited back. I will happily make my case any time. But it was a very articulate making of the case. Thank you, sir. Well done, young man. Thank you. Terrific. Thank you, I think you're all right. Okay. The <laughs> highest that. compliment that can be paid on this yes. program. You're yeah. all right. You, you're a tough judge, so I will take that. Thank no, you. No, I'm not. I'm a softie. Yeah. Thank you very much, Adam. Thanks, you're sir. All right. uh,